military think tanks for the next 50 years or so, their projections, and they've had that out for a few years now. And uh, the, the, both the U.S. and the British uh, NATO group uh, came to the same conclusions. Uh, they're going to, we, we, and when they're doing it, they're getting folk off the land, the rural areas, through incredible uh, masses of new regulations. Uh, the gasoline is going up, that'll get you off too. Uh, they clo- they've closed down most of the country hospitals, so you have to move into the city if you want treatment. Uh, there are a hundred different ways to get you to move, just like animals again. How do we get them to move from here to there? And uh, it's all been discussed. And uh, so once we're all in the over- already overcrowded cities, they've already got an internal army. Uh, RAND, by the way, I've got the RAND document on that too, where they, they talked about the coming uh, civil strife in the U.S. As they, as they push more and more folk into the overcrowded cities. So they're always planning ahead for the, for the fallout. And uh, once we're together, it's easier then to release the plagues. Now, they're talking up to the year 2020 uh, to try to cram us into the cities. That's why they're on a roll now with austerity. Austerity suddenly comes in after the, the last pla- uh, planned bank crash, which wasn't a crash at all, really. And uh, things didn't just go to money heaven. Somebody's got the key to it. But uh, the, the reality is this is austerity, and uh, we've also got to share and reduce our, our standard of living. And eventually the United Nations, as it says in its own charter for the Department of Agriculture, will dish out the food. They'll dole out the food to each region of the earth. And then you must bring down your own population according to the rations that you're given. That's in their own mandates, by the way. Yeah, that's in the Kissinger documents and all of the new ones. But instead of doing it secretly, like 30 years ago, now Ted Turner comes out with Nat Rothschild and says you should only be able to have one child and that child will be taxed. But then meanwhile, they've all got private jets and private trains and uh, yachts and, you know, five children apiece. And, and, uh, you know, Kate Middleton is lecturing you on carbon taxes. And we've now moved into a cottage. It's only 300 rooms for the earth. I mean, it's just all asinine hypocrisy in our face. Yes, but from their point of view, they don't see that as that because they do. But they truly believe that they are superior people genetically, uh, and they believe that they've evolved. We're junk genes. We're the junk genes left at the bottom. And one of the arguments I, I saw in a, a scientific discussion was uh, the, the proof of the fact that the people are junk genes is uh, that they would, have, they would have been up amongst the elite if they had the ability to get ahead uh, in their genetic makeup. Therefore, because they haven't gone up to multimillionaire status and have no desire to, then they, they equate that to what they call arrested civilizations of Africa and primitive tribes. They're junk genes. They can't move on. Uh, we, ha- we do move on all the time. We are involved in planning the future. We control the future. Exactly. So Moving on is being well, uh, willing to slit your grandmother's throat and enjoy it. The true human genes of helping your community, building, being admired because of your art or your strength or your ability to hunt – or your ability to build, uh, no, 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 no. Now it's your ability to team up in gangs and lie and manipulate people and dumb folks down and make things ugly. And that's why they're selling us with Lady Gaga with the dead Chinese corpses just openly flaunting, look, I'm dancing with murdered prisoners. It's beautiful. That way no one will stand up for you when you're being murdered. I was that about it. People who are debased and, and thoroughly dehumanized do not stand up together for anything. And so it's a warfare technique as well. Uh, and you use, you use cultural wars all the time and economic wars all the time as well. But these elites, you see, are really the deviants. And we don't understand that because uh, in the psychopathic nature of humanity, the, the, the groups that inbred over time were the ones that uh, slaughtered their neighbors. And they took over the land, and then, and, and that's really real estate was always land. That's real estate, as opposed to fake estate, you know, which is their money system, which we believe in. We've been taught to believe in it. And uh, but in reality, that they became kings and queens and, and uh, nobles because they had the ability to always uh, slaughter anybody for, as an example to others at any time at all. And uh, and and they they've actually got books out. Uh, trying to rationalize the necessity for this kind of behavior and that mankind can't do without, without them. That's what they say themselves. We can't do without them because they're the risk takers, etc., etc. But in reality, we're, we're run by clubs of psychopaths and breads 
uh, who, so the deviants run the normal people, the ordinary people who can get along and who can cooperate uh, for their own survival. The elite are afraid of the masses, uh, even though they've used the masses, that they see the time is coming when they will no longer need them because they can then uh, create a specific uh, job created uh, uh, human or beings for the specific tasks that we used to do, the ordinary folk used to do. And that, that's what all this work is about. They're using our tax money like crazy to make this happen, to ensure their survival, where they'll be served with all kinds of uh, uh, chimeras, basically. They're especially bred for the purpose that they will do all their lives. And, and that's going on at breakneck speed. Uh, undoubtedly, these chimeras are out walking the streets now. This has been going on for decades, and they're just now telling the slaves this because they think they've got us into a deep enough trance. But I'm here to tell you, Alan, I'm seeing record numbers of people waking up, and I mean fully waking up. Uh, how do you uh, break people out of their trance? You, you, have to, uh, you have to start with them by telling them why their dollar is being divided. Something they can understand, it, it hits them personally. Telling them why their families are breaking up or their daughter's going off with another woman or something like that. Uh, that's kind of stuff, where it's coming from and, and what's the purpose is behind it. Things that they can actually relate to in their own lives. And that's the start of it all. Yeah, yeah I found uh, people are like, wow, you're right, bisphenol A does give you cancer and does reduce your fertility. And uh, now I get emails saying, oh, they're taking bisphenol A off the shelves everywhere, you conspiracy theorist. It's like, oh, it's not a problem. They're taking it off the shelves. First, it wasn't bad for you. Now we've been proven right, so we need to shut if up. you drive for a living, you don't get paid to stop or wait in line. <laughs> Keep your wheels moving with prepass. Bypass way stations. Fly by port of entry facilities. Stay moving at highway speed while the guy without prepass waits in line. Save time, save money. Call 888-401-PASS to try pre-pass free. That's 888-401-PASS. What's cooking at prizekitchen.com? Plenty. Low prices on your favorite kitchen brand appliances, Vitamix blenders, Omega juicers, reverse osmosis systems, and more. Plus, free shipping on it all. PrizeKitchen.com gives your family the tools for a healthy lifestyle by eating more fruits and veggies and drinking pure water. Go to PrizeKitchen.com. Great selection, low prices, free shipping. PrizeKitchen.com. We help make healthy lifestyles convenient. Infowars.com for 16 years has led the charge against the technocrats. We have had unrivaled success in unlocking minds, expanding paradigms, and rallying the people to face the new world order. No one can deny that our media operation is the tip of the spear, and it's because of our success that we have a responsibility to intensify our operations against the globalist 110%. We're only a month away from launching a weeknight news broadcast. The social network is nearing completion as well. The free newsletter is reaching hundreds of thousands. Please spread the word about InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Sign up at the top of InfoWars.com for the free InfoWars Insider email with exclusive video and text reports as well as breaking news. Look in the mirror. You are the resistance. It is up to us, the InfoWarriors, to take the initiative and to defeat the globalist. Big Berkey water filters are in high demand. Storable foods are also in high demand. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has always kept our focus on the Berkey water filter products. But increasingly, our customers have been asking for storable foods. After months of research, BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com now offers great-tasting, long-lasting, storable foods. These ready-to-eat meals are packed in airtight nitrogen pouches. All you do is just add water. And because they're sealed so well, they come with a 25-year shelf life. Combined Combine our Berkey water filters, which are powerful enough to purify treated, untreated, or even stagnant pond water with our storable foods, and you have a winning combination. Remember, we offer free shipping on every order over $50, and GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com or call 877-99-BERKEY. That's BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com or call 877-99-BERKEY today. All right. 
right, I, I meant to get to more calls, and we'll uh, try to do it tomorrow. I think I'm going to get a neti pot or something to try to get my sinuses cleared up so I'm not dingy here on air, but I think it's been overall a very informative radio show here today uh, with our guest, Alan Watt. We're going to have the InfoWars Insider that comes out uh, midweek, um, some days Tuesdays, other days Wednesdays, come out at about 4 o'clock today. Uh, emailed uh, out to everybody that signs up for it. If you go to the top of InfoWars.com, uh, there's a tab there that says uh, InfoWars Insider. You just put your email in there, and we will send you uh, the article. Also, we're doing exclusive videos every week that are just emailed to you, and that's the only place they are in cyberspace. Uh, f exclusive photos, things like that, because we need to have an email system um, that bypasses even the mainline Internet. Uh, because they could shut down our websites anytime, and we have never really tried to create a system to personally reach out to you. And all the IT experts we talk to say low tech is is high tech. Send high tech information over low tech old email. Yeah, email's old fashioned these days. Uh, so sign up for the Infowars Insider at the top of Infowars dot com. Also, I've done uh, three hours of radio now here, and I haven't plugged any books or videos. We got a lot of specials going. Um, great films to get and make copies and give to people. Uh, we've got to awaken folks. Uh, I got you on here, Alan, originally because I wanted to talk about this shooter who we now know is on drugs and, and all, all the rest of it. I mean, this is, I could see the predictive programming. I could see the media getting ready to rebrand terrorism onto the evil white male. And I, I called it last Thursday. I said the attack's imminent. And, and, and that's what you talk about. Once you see the fifth grade level propaganda, you know exactly what they're going to do. It's so frustrating to, like you said, being the fool on the hill, but really you're not the fool on the hill. Everybody else is deaf, dumb, and blind. Alan Watt, final comments on that. Yeah, it's like deja vu. You know what's coming and what they have to do because even, even to do with the, the, the big bone of contention from the whole 9-11 deal onwards across the world, uh, the Western world and in Britain and elsewhere, is why should everyone else have to uh, go through all of this, have all of their mail ripped open, have all their emails uh, uh, copied in, uh, and uh, stored forever, be under the scrutiny of the microscope? How come everybody, when supposedly it was all to do, with, start, it started off with Muslim extremists in, in, in the Middle East and, and elsewhere? Uh, so people were saying, why are, why are old ladies who've lived their, their, all their life in America uh, with blue eyes and old granny being searched and groped at the at the at these particular checkup thing. Well, that was a bone of contention. Now they've given you a reason why. It could be any one of you. You see, it's a white guy, uh, and so so they had to justify all. It could be a policeman. It could be a policeman. It, oh, oh, it's the returning veterans, exactly. Mm -hmm. And they had so they had to give you a reason why because for since nine eleven to the present, you see, we haven't seen it. And so they've given you the sacrificial lamb or whoever they've set up, whatever uh, guy they've set up to do it. Uh, and remember, too, we'll never get the truth on this story, never, ever get the truth. If this fellow did go over to London and meet with uh, top-ranking secret, supposedly, uh, Knights Templars group, or, was, or were they a bunch of, of CIA, MI6, Mossad guys conning this little fool to go and do this job? We'll never know. We'll never know. But it's got all the earmarks that it was staged. Yeah, it does. It does. And, and believe you me, in this day and age, you cannot get, do anything and get away with it without people knowing about it. We're all under observation. And it even, even admitted that uh, the, the, the CIA were watching this guy. In Norway, yeah, so was, MI, so was MI5 and 6. Yeah. Uh, oh, and of course... And, this... and the forums, too, that he belonged to, yeah. No, oh, it's it's 100% staged, and now we know he's all hopped up on drugs. He'll, he'll end up going into the mental institution there and never be seen again. Uh, Alan Watt, uh, great points. Thank you so much for spending time with us. Retransmission starts now. I'll see you back live tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in